The University of Miami has received a new addition to its engineering school. In collaboration with Johnson & Johnson, students will be able to use industry-grade 3D printers. I want to take a first-hand look at the innovative machines. This past Monday, the MacArthur Engineering Building hosted an open house for the grand opening of its new 3D printing center. The event hosted students, alumni, and trustees, and included tours of the new facility and its equipment. According to the Dean of the Engineering School, Jean-Pierre Bardet, this collaboration will mark the beginning of a new era for UM. We are embarking on a new era of collaboration, and we welcome that. Bardet believes in this new form of research and that now is the time to collaborate with the greater science community and help contribute to its future. The typical research at university uh, is at risk and so now it's the time to engage into this collaboration with the industry to build the new materials which are going to go into the 3D printers which are printing all kinds of structures in the future. Johnson & Johnson Vice President of Engineering Joseph A. Sandra was at the event, and he says 3D printing has been around for ages, but this new technology will put UM ahead of the curve in the science community. It's not all about the printer, and, and I, I, that's an important differentiation because most people think 3D printing and they think the printer, but the science has been around for over 30 years. What has changed now is we have the ability to develop the materials, develop the post-processing, which gives you a large amount of design freedom, allowing you to ideate in ways previously not possible. Sandra also thinks having this equipment readily available for students gives them a look into the entire printing process which would have been impossible without this lab. At best, students would have been able, without this lab, to send a design to a house that would manufacture and bring it back, but it would be a black box to them. Here, they're going to see how it happens and use that knowledge to build their repertoire of, of their ability to design and execute. These new 3D printers can print out basically anything, from artificial hips for hip surgeries to these tiny decorative squares that they were passing out outside. Anything is possible, according to Dean Bardet. There's only one limitation, and that is your imagination. You have imagination. You can imagine all kind of applications. In the future, we will not carry stocks of spare parts. Why? You can print at any location, anywhere in the world, the parts that you need for your vehicles, for your car, devices. It's, it's a bright future. Reporting for UMTV, I'm JP Aguirre.